Hi, this is Angie at Polished Picture. Um, today I'm going to do a before and after in kind of a hazy tone. So this is our beginning photo and here is where we're going to take it. So let's get started. Um, the first thing I'm going to do is remove some of these shadows from under her eyes. So in order to do that I'm going to duplicate this background layer. So I'm just going to hit Control or Command J and I'm going to get the clone stamp tool which is this tool right here. You can just hit S on your keyboard. I'm going to set it to the lighten mode and I'm going to change the opacity to about 30%. So I'm going to click, I'm going to hold down the Alt key. You have to click a target and I'm going to click here on a lighter area and I'm going to paint over these shadowed areas at 30%. This just kind of softens them without taking them away. Now I'm going to change my brush to 10% opacity here just by hitting the 1 on my keyboard. I'm going to do it again just for a little bit uh, more lightning effect. Okay, so here is the before and after of that just to lighten those shadows. The next thing I'm going to do is a curves layer and I'm going to even out her skin a little bit. Um, so I'm going to use my this pointer, the eyedropper tool, and I'm going to select a light area of her skin. I don't want this to get much lighter than this. So I'm going to put a point on the curve right here. And then I'm going to click in a, this shadowed area, and I'm going to pull these uh, tones up. So it's kind of evened out her skin tone. You can see that this is not so steep. It's a little more flat, which means that we've reduced some of this contrast in her face. I'm actually going to bring it just a little bit. Okay. And then I'm going to pull some of these shadows back down just a tad as well. So here is the before and after. I'm just looking for this evening effect over her skin, which I think we've accomplished. Um, for that. Now when we do that we've lost some color. You know she looks a little bit flat right now. So the next thing I'm going to do is add some warmth to the highlights in this photo. So I'm going to go down here and I'm go, going to go to the color balance. I'm going to go to the highlights and I'm going to add a little bit of red and I'm going to add a little bit of yellow. And I like to do this like in kind of small increments here. Here's the before and the after, and then I'm going to just kind of duplicate this layer a couple times and see. And to me that looks kind of good. A lot of this is just, you know, playing around and see what you think uh, looks good. So here's right now, here's our before and our after. So we've warmed it up, brightened it, and, uh, you know, reduced these shadows a little bit under her eyes. The next thing I'm going to do is add um, a little bit of sparkle to her eyes. So I'm going to create a composite layer. And I'm going to actually run my sparkling eyes action. And that's available on my website. And I'm going to take a brush. I think for this picture I'm actually going to use, I usually use about a 20% brush. I'm going to use a 30% brush and see how that looks. So I'm clicking on the mask. And I have a white, um, white brush selected at 30% up here. And I'm just paint over this entire eye area. So here is before the eye brighten and afterwards. So that's looking good to me so far. Um, the next thing I want to do, I, I usually do a lot of clean edits. There's not a whole lot of times that I do creative edits, but I actually had a reader that wanted to see a hazy edit. So um, that's what I'm going to do next for this photo. In order to do that, I'm going to do a levels layer. And I'm going to take these, I'm going to play with these output sliders a little bit, and I'm going to reduce the blacks. I'm going to bring the blacks up. And then I'm going to also bring the midtones up as well. So we're really going to get like a lighter, definitely a lighter look in there. And honestly, this is just, just kind of play around with it and um, see what you think. Now we're kind of at a, at a flat color again, so I'm going to go in and add a little bit of red. And that looks good. You can also go in and add some, a little bit of yellow if you want, and you add yellow by going to blue and moving uh, the slider up. 
I think I'm actually going to leave that where it was, but know that you can go in if it's looking too red and you need to add a little yellow. That's that's where you would do it. I'm not going to do it for this picture after seeing it. Um, so here is here's our haze level. So we're going to turn it off and turn it back on. You can see there's a pretty drastic difference just from this one levels layer. Um, and the, the entire tutorial for this method is on my blog. I'll link all of those after this video um, in the post so you can drill down and spend some time looking at those tutorials if you want. Okay, um, now I love how this looks, but unfortunately what happens is when you do, you know, hazy layers like this, sometimes you lose some contrast, and I really like to focus on the face. So what I'm going to do next is I'm going to make a composite layer of all of these. I'm hitting Command, Option, Shift, E, or Control, Alt, Shift, E on Windows, um, and I'm going to run a defog action that I have. Uh, I don't have a tutorial for this on my blog yet, I will get one, but if you Google defog in Photoshop, you will probably see a tutorials. Basically what it does, it uses the unsharp mask and adds mid-tone contrast. So it kind of adds definition to the mid-tones in your photo. So you can see the before and the after. You could see it pop a little bit. I'm going to run it again. I'm going to run a defog layer on the defog layer. So we're going to get, you know, a lot more definition than we had before. Um, and these are pixel layers, so I'm going to turn these off and it's not going to make a difference because all the pixels are contained in this uh, layer right here. Um, so you can see, I'll, I'm going to show you what this looks like off and on. You can see how it almost becomes three-dimensional. Now I don't want this over the entire image, um, I just want to honor eyes. So on this layer, I am going to add a mask and I'm going to hit Command or Control I and it's going to black that mask out so none of the effect is showing through right now and I'm going to take a white brush so I'm going to get my brush tool hit the B make sure it's white and I'm going to pay, I'm going to set my opacity to about 90% I'm going to paint over some of these areas in the face that I want to bring back so I'm going to do like her eyes I'm going to do kind of like her nose and her mouth Let's see what kind of under her eyes and you can reduce this a little bit if that was too strong Let me take that down just a tad but you can see let's see sorry guys I know I'm kind of slow when I do this <laughs> um, here's the before and after so you can see her face kind of pops back and you see more detail uh, the next thing I'm gonna do is just add some final sharpening so again I'm gonna create another composite layer so we're basically taking all these layers and combining it into one so that I can run a high pass sharpen on the whole all of our edits and there's a tutorial for high pass on my site I have an action written it's quicker for me to run that way Okay, so that is it. So I'm going to show you here's the before and here's the after. So it's a pretty drastic difference. Um, I hope this tutorial is helpful. Again, in the post, I will link up the different tutorials for these different methods that I've used in here. And I hope this was helpful. I appreciate you watching.